Welcome back. So as I promised, here we are, ready to fight this guy. And I've got a few stories to tell about him. So here he is, a Rocket Grunt with one Pokemon. And it's a level 16 Raticate. So the first story I wanted to tell about this guy was the time I did a Nuzlocke on Red and I actually managed to beat him in the end. Oh, he's got a good AI. No, he hasn't. He's still an idiot. Anyway. Aha, take that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Hyper Fang. That's, that's the problem. Avenge him, Motion Man! Avenge your friend! Ooh! Okay, that was scary. Yeah. So I'll finish the story and then go back and heal. Um, I was doing a Red Nuzlocke once, and this guy was actually the first thing that killed a party member. Did pretty well in the fight, considering how devastating a Hyper Fang can be. Anyway, time to go and heal. Can't be bothered walking. So. Whee! Okay, I'm back here again. Uh, though it didn't do much because Stubby's taking a lot of damage from all the um, fights I got into on the way back. But anyway, the other story I wanted to tell was more a head cannon of such. So, you know how in Pokemon Gold and Silver, Team Rocket has this scheme where they use radio waves to make... Ooh! That's a Clefairy! They're rare. And I can't catch one. Well, now you know that Clefairy appears in the cave, so time to kill it. I've actually hit both times. Missed a lot on all the other ones. And Stabby leveled up. That's good. So, Team Rocket. Radio waves. My theory is that they were doing it on a small scale at the time of this game, which is how they forced that Rattata to evolve before level 20. And only in Gold and Silver did they realise how they could enhance the scheme to affect an entire lake, and then their scheme would be to make it affect an even bigger area, namely Johto. Yeah. There's probably very little credence to that theory, it's probably just lazy programming in Gen 1, but whatever. Supersonic with your low accuracy. More reliable than Fury Attack. Shouldn't be, though. He mad. Uh, no items there. Okay, let's fight this guy. I think he's the last person we fight. I know in yellow, Jesse and James show up, but um, there's this guy. And honestly, he can keep both of these fossils as far as I'm concerned, because I only need Stabby and Ocean Man. Uh, I really wish I had Twin Needle. I'll, I'll try and get rid of this Grimer, but I don't hold out much hope. Yeah. Oh, come on, Stabby, please. Is it worth it? I'll give it a go. He's, he's not able to kill Stabby. He can only do 10 damage unless he gets a crit, so I'm not worried. Yeah, 
yeah, Disable works differently in Gen 1 from in other Gens. Yeah, I apologise for this constant dinging. I'm going to switch to Ocean Man. Oh, Voltorb didn't kill the sound channel this time. I guess the sound channel can only be killed by one thing at a time. Oh, come on, Ocean Man. It's not that hard. There we go. Yeah. I didn't say it out loud in the last episode, but Mega Punch has lower accuracy than tackles. So this is kind of to be expected. Oh. Maybe Stabby could have done some of that XP. Never mind. We can pick one of those fossils that he was guarding. Yeah, it really doesn't matter which one I pick. Yeah, Helix fossil. Because memes. Normally I pick the dome fossil, because I just think Kabuto is better. But, you know, that's kind of subjective. I'm pretty sure there's some more items around here. No, that's just where these um, move tutors hang out in Fire Red and Leaf Green. So, nothing useful. There's got to be something hidden around here. There's way too much empty space for there just to be nothing. Yeah, there is something. TM4, which one's that? Whirlwind? Why is that a TM? Oh, who cares? It basically means free cash now. Since we've reached Cerulean City, we'll head straight to the Mart. That's the bike shop. That's the Mart. Navigate the customers and... Sell that. Oh, not that one. And the water gun. And we'll buy... Really could have done with those repels earlier. A couple of those. And... I don't think burns or sleep are going to be a problem at this stage. Paralysis. Unlikely. So we'll just get... Yeah, three potions. And that'll do there. Just heal. Yay. No, no, no. no. I should have mashed B. Always mash A when you get to talk to them, and B once they've healed. Yeah, the other thing I want to do is store that rare candy, since inventory space is kind of a sweet. Oh, should have sold the moonstone. Yeah, I can do that. This music's so catchy, I love it. Yep, sell the Moonstone. Wait, what? It's... it's worth nothing? It has no sale value whatsoever. One of the rarest items in the game. Uh, I guess because you can't buy it, it doesn't have any value. Well, I'm either going to sell it or throw it away, so... Thank you for giving me nothing. Crazy, crazy Gen 1 nonsense. Yeah, where am I going? Uh, I wonder. Hey, who's that guy? 
I know people often headcanon him as Afro Man, and I can totally see that. But, I don't know, maybe it's just a, a British thing, but I always envisaged him as being like a Buckingham Palace guard. You know, with the big bearskin hats that are too tall to be practical. Hilarious. Okay, so... I have two options open to me at the moment. I can either go up there and fight Gary and a whole bunch of other trainers, or I can try and beat Misty. I will not beat Misty until I have Twin Needle. I know that much. So I guess... I guess I'm going to fight Gary next time. And I'll see you all for that. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you on the next episode. Cheerio!